Have you ever wanted to live like a fairy tale prince or princess? Well, now you can in one of these palatial properties. With towering turrets, dramatic Renaissance interiors, and spectacular landscape gardens, these homes were definitely designed with royalty in mind, from modern masterpieces to historical gems. So let's take a look at the most beautiful castles for sale right now. Up first, we visit the LA Hobbit House. In the early 20th century, Los Angeles boasted a plethora of whimsical storybook homes, inspired by fairy tales and fantasy. These enchanting dwellings were a common sight, each a unique manifestation of imagination and creativity. However, as the 1930s dawned, the construction of such distinctive residences began to dwindle. Over the next 80 years, the relentless march of urban development saw many of these magical abodes vanish, lost to the expanding cityscape. Yet amid the modern sprawl and bustling streets, a charming relic from this bygone era persists. Tucked away near Sony Studios lies the Hobbit House, a beloved landmark affectionately named for its whimsical design. While technically a set of apartments, this quirky dwelling captures the essence of a fairy tale cottage, enchanting passersby with its unique charm. Despite the passage of time, the Hobbit House has managed to defy the encroaching tide of progress. Its preservation is a testament to the enduring allure of fantasy and nostalgia. For tourists and locals alike, a visit to the Culver City area isn't complete without a detour to glimpse this architectural marvel. Remarkably, in 1996, the Hobbit House received official recognition as Historic Cultural Monument, hash 624, by the City of Los Angeles. This designation serves as a testament to its cultural significance and enduring appeal, ensuring that future generations can continue to marvel at its whimsical beauty. The house has three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and even sits on one acre of land. Up next, we visit Anne Hathaway's cottage. Dating back to 1463, the earliest section of the house was a modest three-room structure comprised of a single floor. However, the grander portion, constructed between April 1610 and October 1624, boasts a more elevated stature, reflecting the architectural trends of the 17th century. Originally known as Hewland's Farm during Shakespeare's era, this residence boasted an impressive expanse of land spanning over 90 acres. Describing it merely as a cottage might be an understatement given its substantial size compared to typical dwellings of the time. In line with the architectural norms of the period, the house features multiple chimneys strategically placed to distribute warmth evenly throughout its interior during the chilly winter months. The largest chimney served a dual purpose, functioning as the primary cooking area. Its distinctive timber framing stands as a quintessential example of the vernacular Tudor style prevalent in the region. The Hathaway family established their residence here in 1542 with John Hathaway, Anne Hathaway's grandfather, being the first of their lineage to inhabit the premises. Following the passing of Richard Hathaway, Anne's father, in 1581, ownership of the cottage fell to Anne's brother, Bartholomew Hathaway. He embarked on a series of expansions and enhancements to the property, commencing on April 1st, 1610, and concluding with his demise on October 28th, 1624. The cottage remained within the Hathaway family's possession until financial woes, dating back to 1700, compelled them to relinquish it in 1846. Despite this, the Hathaways continued to reside as tenants until 1892, when the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust acquired the property. Under the trust's custodianship, later additions and alterations were removed, preserving the original character of the dwelling. The last occupant, William Baker, vacated the premises upon the demise of his mother, Mary Baker, in 1911. In 1969, a devastating fire ravaged the cottage, inflicting substantial damage. However, thanks to the dedicated efforts of the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust, extensive restoration work was undertaken, ensuring the preservation of this historical gem. Today, the cottage stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of the Hathaway family and serves as a captivating museum open to the public, offering a glimpse into the past. Up next, we visit the Turkey Hobbit home. Each of these captivating one-bedroom dwellings showcases intriguing architecture, complete with a kitchen, living room, and bathroom, offering a comfortable retreat for visitors. Priced at 120 Turkish liras per day, they provide an affordable yet charming accommodation option. Sivas Mayor Sami Aden has enthusiastically shared updates on the ongoing construction of these unique hobbit houses. 
located at the entrance of the picturesque Pasabasi picnic area. Emphasizing their continuous progress, Mayor Aiden envisions these dwellings as a significant addition to the region's tourism offerings. Upon completion of landscape enhancements, Mayor Aiden anticipates a truly enchanting ambience to envelop the village, further enhancing its allure. Pasabasi, already renowned as one of the city's most breathtaking picnic spots, is poised to become an even more compelling destination with the addition of these distinctive accommodations. The mayor underscores the strategic placement of these 70 square meter houses, ingeniously situated on the slopes to maximize scenic vistas and bolster tourism in the area. Far from the typical tourist hotspots, this secluded locale promises visitors a serene escape amidst nature's splendor, inviting exploration and relaxation alike. The unique home sits on a half acre of land and has beautiful sunset views. Up next, we visit Villa Keen in New York. Situated in Irvington, New York, Villa Keen was constructed in 1929 and benefits from plenty of plus points. From its romantic exterior, complete with matching turreted towers, to its sophisticated interior, there's much to admire. Described by listing agents Corcoran as a castle meets Broadway, the elegant home was created for Joseph Keene and his wife, but was later owned by the musical writer Robert Wright, who worked on many Broadway productions. Later, Academy Award-winning actress Shirley Jones, Tony Award-winning actor Jack Cassidy, and their son, multi-platinum recording artist Sean Cassidy, lived in the castle. We can certainly see why so many VIPs were drawn to the place. Inspired by Cinderella, the property is a stone's throw from the Hudson River, while Manhattan is just 30 minutes away. Inside, there's over 3,500 square feet of space, which includes five bedrooms and five bathrooms. There's also a formal living room, a chic dining room, a spacious kitchen, and a turret bedroom with ornate stained glass windows. There are endless design details to take in too, such as historic Indian carvings, Chesney fireplace mantles, stately stone pillars, Mackenzie Child's fixtures, and a Sean Beck Austrian crystal chandelier that's likely worth thousands. Outside, you'll find over two acres of land equipped with romantic gardens, a swimming pool, and a pool house. With plenty of space to play with and endless history to preserve, this fairy tale home is very special. Listed with Corcoran for the reduced price of $1.4 million, the property could soon be yours. Up first, we go to Michigan Gothic Style Castle. Listed with Sotheby's International Realty for a cool $2.1 million, this Gothic style castle is certainly unique. Despite its historic looking facade, the property was actually finished in 1990 and was inspired by classic medieval architecture. It even features a moat, drawbridge, and an entrance with its own knight in shining armor. If you're searching for a characterful home, that offers design wow factor and all the modern conveniences of a new build, then this property could be for you. The ghoulishly gothic home sits on six acres of land, is surrounded by a wrought iron fence, and has two gated towers for total security. According to the listing, the castle was built over a seven-year period by the finest artisans from around the world. It reportedly cost $10 million to complete, which is a staggering amount considering its current price tag. Measuring 6,000 square feet, the home has plenty of living areas, with soaring coffered ceilings, ornate fireplaces, paneled walls, and stained glass elements. There are five bedrooms and five bathrooms, as well as plenty of unusual extras. For starters, the castle boasts numerous secret rooms, hidden doors, passageways, and staircases, not to mention a wine cellar and a Tudor-style pub tucked away in the basement. But that isn't all. This weird and wonderful house has its very own tiny town, the space doubles as a luxurious parking garage and benefits from a nightclub-esque dance floor, as well as a cobbled street with faux storefronts and lampposts. Amazingly, the house last sold in 2015 for just $900,000, so there's definitely room here to secure a bargain. Up next, we go to this Gilded Age castle in Minnesota. If you're seeking a spacious, stylish, and stunning property, then this might just be your dream home. As if plucked from the pages of a gothic romance novel, the historic castle can be found on more than half an acre of land and boasts plenty of curb appeal, not to mention a jaw-dropping interior. The stunning Gilded Age home dates back to 1906, but recently received a multi-million dollar restoration, which honored the history and craftsmanship of the home while adding to its charms. 
Spanning 11,800 square feet, the historic residence boasts gorgeous living spaces, 10 bedrooms and nine bathrooms across four floors. Every room is overflowing with gorgeous architectural details, such as black walnut floors, mahogany carved millwork, ornate grillwork, original fireplaces, statement ceilings, and stained glass elements. Modern additions include the home's custom thermopane windows, which help keep heating the house energy efficient. There's also a stunning master suite, complete with a four-poster bed, designer wallpaper, and antique furnishings. Elsewhere, you'll find a secret tunnel that leads from the home to a carriage house and heated garage, both of which are located in the garden. If you've fallen in love, then the castle is currently up for grabs with Coldwell Banker Realty for $2.9 million. Up next, we go to Castle Eden. Nestled away in the English countryside, this exceptional grade two listed estate offers space, style, and scenery in abundance. Known as Castle Eden, the property can be found in the heart of County Durham and comes complete with 14 acres of perfectly landscaped grounds enclosed by Castle Eden Nature Reserve. Standing proud at 15,100 square feet, the Palladian style historic home dates back to the early 1700s, but thanks to a recent renovation, the interior is immaculately presented. Inside, You'll find a grand entrance hall, numerous reception rooms, a large kitchen, a formal dining room that doubles as a games room, 11 bedrooms, and 12 bathrooms. Every single room is overflowing with amazing design details too. From hand-painted wall murals to delicate crown moldings, elaborate chandeliers, and hardwood floors, there's plenty to love about this house. Plus, upstairs you can take in a truly mesmerizing domed skylight, which allows abundant light to flood inside. On the market for $3 million, every window captures incredible views across the surrounding landscape. The estate also benefits from a wraparound courtyard, an orangery, an outdoor bar, and an amazing brick cellar that has been described by the listing agents. As a private dungeon, this space can be accessed via stone steps from the ground floor and includes many different rooms that span the entire footprint of- Up next, we go to Mountainside Castle in Utah. Positioned on a mountainside above Salt Lake Valley, this majestic modern castle is also minutes from seven world-class ski resorts. Providing incredible views from almost every window, it was built in 2005 and no expense was spared in its design or construction. Outside, there's almost an acre of land, while inside you'll find 10,000 square feet of space. As soon as you step through the front door, you'll be blown away. Every bit as impressive as its facade, the interior offers exposed stone walls, arched doorways, wrought iron work, and medieval style light fixtures, which make the house appears older than it is. As for rooms, you'll find an impressive entrance foyer, an enormous kitchen with a never ending ceiling, a grand living room, a formal dining room, five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Plus, there are plenty of amazing extras you might not expect, including a movie theater, storage cellar, indoor pool and spa, games room, fitness center and observatory, where you can take in the night sky. It was recently for sale for just over $1 million. Up, up next, we visit Highlands Castle in New York. You might not expect to find a fairy tale castle in the USA, but Highlands Castle proves they do exist. The property lies in Warren County, New York, and has amazing views of Lake George and the surrounding Adirondack Mountains, and that's just for starters. Of course, the castle boasts suitably grand features both outside and inside, with stained glass doors, a sweeping staircase, hanging tapestries, pitched ceilings finished with exposed beams and suits of armor standing guard. There's a dramatic foyer, a great hall, a music room, a library, a kitchen, a dining room, a family room, a coat room, and much more. It might appear like the property was constructed centuries ago, but this historic home isn't all it seems. In fact, it wasn't built until the 1980s. However, the then owner did their best to create a jaw-dropping estate that would instantly transport people to a bygone era. If you fancy playing prince or princess, then the castle is available to rent via Airbnb. You could even host your wedding here. Up next, we visit Chateau de Belay. Located in the beautiful Bergerac region of France, this sprawling chateau has 64 acres of grounds, complete with parkland, gardens, an orchard, wells, and even a box hedge labyrinth. With 17th, and 19th century origins, it was last restored in the 1990s, but has retained many of its original features. The 15,000 square foot property enjoys dominating views over the beautiful surrounding countryside. Inside, 
There are 10 bedrooms, seven bathrooms, two dining rooms, two reception rooms, two offices, two kitchens, and a library. So it's more than big enough for you and your entire entourage. The castle also boasts a charming cour d'honneur, which is an inner courtyard and comes with plenty of outbuildings, including stables, a tack room, and a workshop with a salt swimming pool in the center. There's also a two bedroom guardian's cottage and a three bedroom guest cottage with a garage. That makes this the ultimate home for anyone seeking a stylish and secluded estate. If you've fallen in love, then it's currently for sale for just shy of $1 million. Up next, we go to Castle Chianti. With a history dating over 1,000 years, this beautiful castle can be found between Florence and Siena in Italy's iconic Tuscany region. The property's 232-acre grounds benefit from a swimming pool, woodland, and olive groves, as well as working vineyards. Remarkably, the historic castle comes complete with 54,000 square feet of interior space, including two dominant fairy tale towers. The castle is centered around a charming courtyard, and its main body has been fully restored, with 19 ensuite bedrooms, grand staterooms, extensive cellars, and staff accommodation. There are plenty of amazing features throughout, too, from the curving brick ceilings of the cellars to paneled walls and marble floors. Plus, according to the listing, the estate's vines produce between 70,000 and 90,000 bottles a year. So this property comes with a job thrown in. If you fancy snapping it up, it's for sale via prestige property for an undisclosed sum. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Like I mentioned in the beginning, follow all my social media, and also 50% of the people who watch me don't subscribe. So just, if you're watching, just click the subscribe button. It's free, it means a lot. And then an alternative option would be to become a member, which costs a couple dollars, but then, you know, I'll be calling you guys, FaceTiming you guys. You get cool badges, you get exclusive videos. Um, I'll be making videos that I can't show, like public channel. So you guys get a ton of cool features and by clicking here and becoming a member. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video i love you guys thank you for the constant support feel free to share this video on anything and i'll see you in the next video later